Well, 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 how the tables have turned. Here we have some breaking news. Michael Avenatti found guilty of defrauding Stormy Daniels over Trump book money. Now, I don't give a rat's ass about whether or not Trump cheated on his wife with Stormy Daniels. That's irrelevant to me. I just find it highly hilarious that Michael Avenatti, who the media lauded as a darling heartthrob and... Well, basically, someone who's going to bring the end of Trump has been found guilty of fraud. Something that Michael Avenatti tried to claim that Trump did to everyone who he touched. I'm not sure about you guys, but I find that irony so, so delicious. But anyway, let's get into the story. Michael Avenatti was convicted Friday, aka today, of charges he cheated the porn actor... Stormy Daniels out of nearly $300,000 uh, she was supposed to get for writing a book about an alleged twist with former President Donald Trump. Now, people are saying alleged twist, as in they're questioning the fact that it's alleged. Yes, it is alleged. Trump disputes it. Trump denies it, and until it's proven in a court of law, it will remain an alleged twist because there's no way they can outright claim it is or claim it's true because then it will go down as defamation and she could be sued for libel or is it uh, the other one it's not libel it's slander I'm not sure if libel is the written and slander is the spoken or if it's the other way around someone uh, please correct me in the comments but anyway Avenatti starred, stared straight ahead as the verdict was read it was another crushing defeat to the California lawyer who has faced a host of legal problems after breeze, sorry, briefly rising to fame as one of Trump's leading antagonists on cable news early in the Republicans' administration, which I find highly hilarious because he basically came out of nowhere. He was just a, just someone who they decided to latch onto because he had all the correct opinions. But the moment any of these legal battles started to come out, they dropped him like a stone in the water, and he sank just as fast as well. Avenatti dumped his lawyers and decided to represent himself shortly after trial. After the trial began, setting up a face-to-face -face showdown with Daniels, his former client, who appeared in a new role as star witness. Prosecutors portrayed Avenatti as a common thief and a serial liar. Well. There is a whole lot of truth to that statement. He countered by seeking to cast himself as a white knight who came to the rescue of Daniels after, sorry, until he turned on her. I mean, you exploited her, pushed her into, well, more famedom, simply because you wanted a giant payout. Now, I'm not saying that Stormy Daniels is a victim here, only in the fact that she was robbed, basically. Apart from that, she's not a victim because she gains a huge amount of money from being in the public eye and writing the book of her alleged tryst with Donald Trump. But Michael Avenatti was a serial liar. The amount of times he went on the news and made and spun a load of bullshit about Trump is hilarious. The fact that he tried to portray himself as some sort of truth teller holding pa uh, power to account when in reality you just wanted to make a quick buck like she did you exploited each other but she's just pissed because you managed to exploit her more and exploit a t bit more money out of her than she was able to out of you that's basically all it is over two days of cross-examination he questioned her about the allegations that she'd swindled her sorry that he'd swindled her out of book proceeds and about ghost stories she'd tell she'd told for the possible show about the supernatural world. Avenatti still faces other legal problems. He has yet to begin serving a two and a half year prison sentence he received in 2020 for trying to extort up to $25 million from U US sportswear giant Nike. He, al sorry, he is also awaiting retrial in LA on charges that he ripped off clients and others for millions of dollars. He represented himself last year for six weeks before a mistrial, mistrial resulted. He's not very good about this whole lawyer thing, is he? Especially when it comes to representing yourself. I'm pretty sure there's two 
two fundamental laws when it comes to, well, any kind of law thing. The first is never speak to the police. Especially if you have a quarrel with them. You take their arrest, you be arrested, and then you put proceed with a, obviously any uh, complaint afterwards. You do not speak to them directly because they will use anything you say against you. Hence why it's anything you can and w uh, can and do say will be used against you in the court of law. And they will do that. And without a doubt, they absolutely will. Daniels had initially hired Avenatti as she was trying to escape the terms of a $130,000 US hush payment de deal that kept her from speaking publicly about an alleged sexual encounter that Trump says never happened. As I said... I don't give a rat's ass whether it did or whether it didn't. Did he probably? Most likely. Did he pay her off? Most likely as well. It doesn't really matter to anyone apart from those two individuals. The only reason why she wanted to portray and put out her book is because she wanted serial money and a lot of income from it. That's the entire reason. She was happy up until he became a bigger public figure than he already was and she felt and she basically saw him as a giant walking dollar sign if you uh, hear my voice i do apologize i've got a bit of a uh, cold so it will shift between being normal and probably being whatever it is now yeah <coughs> sorry avenatti parlayed his representation with Daniels into a string of cable news appearances in which he mocked and baited Trump, something that never actually happened. When Trump's lawyer, Michael Cohen, was raided by the FBI in connection with tax evasion and payments made to women on Trump's behalf, Avenatti contributed to the spectacle by bringing Daniels to the federal courthouse, i.e. was using it for money so that they could check in and cash in on the uh, what publicity. There we go, Jesus Christ, I cannot work today. The relationship between the two fell apart after Daniels said she learned that Avenatti had taken a share of a $800,000 book deal for himself. Avenatti insisted he was innocent of wire fraud and aggravated identity theft, something which is disputed, but to say the least. After opening statements and two trial witnesses, he shared his lawyers and confronting witnesses himself. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to say he shed his lawyers and started confronting witnesses himself, setting up his questioning of Daniels, whose legal name is Stephanie Clifford. I don't care about that either. If she wants to be called Stormy Daniels, let her be called Stormy Daniels. It's no skin of my nose. It makes it easier for me while reading this. That's why I'm going to go on a bit of a tangent. When people say to me when I say, like, she or her when it comes to, like, a trans person, instead of he, him, it makes it easier for me to just read the article. So if the name in the article is Stormy Daniels, I'm going to read Stormy Daniels, even if that isn't her actual name. It makes a dyslexic like me, who stammers over his words, stammers over his reading, who basically is just terrible at what he does. It makes me, or it makes people like me, have a little bit easier job in deciding to publicly speak. Now back to the article. <clears throat> Avenatti asked her about things she'd said for a potential program called Spooky Babes about living in a haunted house in New Orleans. Among, uh, sorry, among other things, Daniel ha Daniels had talked about an invisible assailant attacking her partner, weird, but okay, and communicating with dead people and with a doll who calls her mummy. Prosecutors argued Avenatti was trying to portray Daniels as crazy. She most probably is. You have to be to do what she does. Uh, what they call a blame the victim defence that failed to support his claim he was owed the money after spending millions of dollars representing Daniels. I mean, if you spent millions of dollars, $300,000 isn't going to recoup precisely what you spent out, so there's no point trying to even try to justify. But there we go. Whether you think it's kooky to believe in the paranormal, whether you think it's weird, she can believe whatever she wants and, sti and still be stolen from by the defendant and still deserves to not to. I completely agree with that. I may not like Stormy Daniels or Michael Avenatti, but what he did 
she did not deserve. You do not deserve. Just because you don't agree with someone's views does not mean you cannot recognise when a crime is committed against them. I don't know how many people need to hear that, but it is a thing. I mean, you sit there and when it comes to light that you don't like someone and they have a crime committed against them, you'll get a lot of people on the right saying, well, they deserved it, this, that and the other. No one deserves a crime perpetrated against them. Now, you can mock someone for having a crime perpetrated against them. That's entirely up to you. But no one deserves a crime actually being committed against them. Text messages, prosecutors said, showed that Avenatti repeatedly lied to Daniels in 2018 when she pressed him on when she would get a, get a large instalment she was owed on the book deal. Uh, they said he'd already spent the money on airfare, food and payroll for his debt-ridden law firm. But Olski likened Avenatti to a store cashier taking $1,000 out of a US, out, sorry, out of a register because he believed he'd worked really hard and deserved the bonus. That's a really good analogy, actually. Where I work, I don't get to walk up to a t I don't get a right to walk up to a till and take money out of it because I feel I've worked more money or more than I've got paid for. If you know what I mean. I, if I work really hard and I do a lot and I sell a lot and I. Uh, Put extra work into creating new recipes. I do not then get to say, "Well, I've done this extra." No, I'm. I already get paid enough for what my work is, so I do not then get to demand more money or steal money from the company because I feel I I deserve it. That's not how it works, unfortunately. Avenatti argued at the conclusion of the two-week trial that the government failed to prove its case. No, the government actually proved its case to a specific and very s standard uh, uh, con well, conclusion. I'm Italian. I like Italian food. Ladies, ladies and gentlemen, in the case the government is trying to feed you as a giant cockroach in the middle of the plate. I don't get what you being Italian has anything to do with it. Would you eat that dish or would you send it back? I submit to you that you would send it back. I mean, depends on not whether they like eating cockroaches. It's entirely their choice. But anyway, there we go. Michael Avenatti has been found guilty of defrauding Stormy Daniels. Take it, take that with what you will. But anyway, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Do you think he should face any jail time over this, pay the money back, or be forced to go bankrupt i personally believe a all three and b the most harsh punishment for anything is being de having to declare himself bankrupt because his law firm is failing his money is basically just disappearing in litigation because of obviously law firms and lawsuits and charges and criminal cases everything against him not to mention the fact that he will be going to prison at some point for two and a half years for what he did to Nike. This man is just a serial fraudster and it's finally catching up to him. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comment section down below and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now.